This is the last of the pickup I got from an estate sale in New York this past Thanksgiving Day weekend. And I'll show you exactly what I picked up. So first over here, for baseball, we have 1981 Topps Complete Set. And the key rookie card from that year would be um, Tim Raines or Rock Raines. This is his rookie card right there from 1981. The other cards, key cards from this set would be Ricky Henderson's uh, second year card and um, miscellaneous stars such as Pete Rose would be in this set. Moving on over to 1982 Tops complete set. We picked up um, in it is the key card is the uh, 82 Rick, uh, Ripken Rookie. And the other key cards from that year would be uh, Fernando Valenzuela, second year card. And we have a uh, Lee Smith um, rookie card. He did a lot of saves as a relief pitcher when he played baseball. And then a couple of cards of Nolan Ryan would be key cards from that set. Nolan Ryan in a Houston Astros uniform. So we got those. Moving on to more uh, sports cards over here. We have five sets, complete sets, of 89 upper deck high numbers. Uh, we also have an 89 uh, football traded set, uh, 89 uh, Major League Baseball debut set. A uh, couple of sets I picked up of um, classic of uh, Eric Lindros uh, rookie card. I think there was only, how many did they say that they made of this? Uh, it was a low production run. Uh, 360,000 sets. Maybe it's not such a low production run, but it's um, limited edition. And then uh, more traded sets over here. We have from the top, 1983, the key rookie card out of that is uh, Daryl Strawberry, uh, 1986. The key rookies out of that would be Barry Bonds, Jose Canseco, Will Clark, uh, Bo Jackson. Uh, 87 traded would be, uh, the key cards out of that would be, I believe, David Cohn and uh, Greg Maddox. Um, oh, also up here in 86 would have Barry Bonds. And... Um, and there would be another Barry Bonds card in, in uh, 87. 89, I'm not sure who were the key cards for that. Uh, possibly um, Sandy Alomar, maybe Roberto Alomar. I'm not sure. I uh, haven't looked at that set yet. haven't looked at this one yet, but it's um, another um, uh, baseball card set. And then we have uh, some other complete sets as well. Uh, we have 1993. Tops 91 score, and uh, we have 1990 f uh, Fleer. And then over here, just a couple of miscellaneous sets, 1994. Uh, tops traded and rookie set, and then we have, this one should be uh, 1991 Tops traded. Now, moving on to the trading cards. Um, Non-sports trading cards. Look at this, complete set of uh, Marvel trading cards and this book is just absolutely really really nice in fact let me go back to the very first page um, a tribute to Stan the Man Lee he recently passed away I believe he was 95 years old here he is I actually have this um, this comic book and I have this one as well too of the human fly so this was a set that was made of um, key number one issues they're all issue number ones of various marvel comics through the years you see wolverine over here wolverine number one and then there's other miscellaneous um, marvel trading cards in here i'll save the garbage pail kids section for last because i'm super excited to show you that and then over here uh, we have marvel's competitor dc comics and uh, we have a bunch of complete sets of DC in here. Many DC cards in there. Then over here we have um, an obscure trading card set called Mobius. I don't know much about it, but I picked it up. 
And then uh, there's also miscellaneous cards in here from other various um, comic companies. Again, you know, Marvel and DC would be in this. And then super excited to show you the Garbage Pail Kids. And I almost was not going to get it, and I'm so glad I did, because um, it has the very first Garbage Pail Kids cards that were ever produced. And I'm really excited. It didn't have uh, Nasty Nick, which is card number 1A, but it does have 1B, which is Evil Eddie. And then the Holy Grail of Garbage Pail Kids cards. This is the real deal. From 1985, Garbage Pail Kids, Adam Baum. One of the rarest Garbage Pail Kids cards to acquire. And I can't believe this was out in the open for anyone to grab at this estate sale. And I was so lucky to get it. Very, very lucky to get it. So I'm going to send this in for grading. It probably won't come back as a 9 or a 10. Um, probably a 7.5 or an 8. But uh, super cool to get it, and it does say on the back here, if you can read it, 1985 tops. And then uh, the counterpart of that card, so that's card uh, 8A, is, um, you know, these are also worth money as well too, is uh, version 8B, which is Blasted Billy. So I got those, three of those. I wish there were more of these ones here, that was the only one. And then this whole book is all filled with Garbage Pail Kids from all the early issues. There's uh, years 85, 86, and 87 in here. And uh, just super excited to find cards like that. I mean, you just can't find things like this out, out in the wild today. Very, very hard to find that. You know, but it's... Uh, Super cool, and almost all of these are either in mint, near mint, or uh, excellent condition. And a good number of these I'll probably send in to CGC for grading. And uh, eventually I'll be reselling a lot of these on eBay. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm known as eBay underscore man. And be sure to check out my eBay store, Treasures in My Home where I sell pop culture items such as this and uh, sports cards such as these over there and autographs and other one-of-a-kind items. Thanks so much.